consent and intoxication. They were the issues today in the case of an RNC officer on trial and charged with sexually assaulting a young woman after a night of drinking. As NTV's Ryan Harding reports, today the female complainant testified about a night of vague memories. 21 at the time of the alleged assault, the young woman testified she had spent the night having a few drinks with friends. Five wine coolers at a house party had her buzzed, and she testified more drinks downtown put her over the edge. It was December of 2014. She says she left the bar feeling too drunk to stay and walked onto Water Street looking for a cab. When a police officer offered her a ride home, she accepted, feeling it was safer than cabbing home alone. The woman testified that she didn't remember her time in the police cruiser, but once at her apartment, she couldn't find her key. That's when she says the RNC officer helped her open her unlocked window. She climbed in, then let the cop into her home. From there, her memory fades in and out. She remembers kissing in the living room, testifying that the cop wasn't forceful. She says she sat down feeling too drunk, and then her next memory is being completely naked while the officer, still in uniform, sodomized her. Although she says she can't identify the man in her apartment that night, the RNC did an internal investigation and found that Constable Carl Douglas Snowgrove's car was outside her home the night in question and his DNA was found on her couch. He was suspended without pay. Today, the woman's friends couldn't testify with certainty about her level of intoxication. The friend who spent the most time with her at the club testified that she didn't see the woman buy a single drink downtown. Also revealed today, the alleged victim didn't report the sexual assault for a month, and when she did, it was to a female officer with whom she was getting a ride home after a night of drinking. The defense are going to take Friday and the weekend to decide if they want to call their client, Constable Snowgrove, to the stand. If they decide to do just that, it's expected he could testify either Monday or Tuesday. Ryan Harding, NTV News.